please forgive the eczema and the hair. I have been Ubering all day, eight hours. <sighs> anyway, I keep alluding to the secret project that I've been working on and it's finally all the pieces are put together, but there are still things that I'm working on. But by the time this video gets posted, it'll be out. And the next clip will probably be me celebrating. <laughs> but I just got this in the mail. Here, I'm going to try to hide my address. I just got this in the mail. And in it is the most exciting thing. Um, this is a spoon flower order. And I made a pattern. And I put it up. And I bought a sampled fabric. So... We'll get to see together what it looks like and if I need to make any changes. Mostly because when I made the pattern, I made it for fun and I made it in RGB. I know. Uh, I wasn't planning on putting in print. When I transferred it to CMYK, it looked awful. So I'm going to see if we can get away with not doing the conversion and seeing what the printers do with that. So we'll find out. So here's a little slip that came with it, and I don't know, like even with printing it on paper, it just, I don't know. Printing it on paper, it looks different, but my tablet also looks different, and sorry, I'm cutting my head off here because the package is right here, and ugh. oh my gosh. Like I said, this is a sample, so it's not huge or anything. And I got it in a chiffon because I figure if I'm going to get a sample, I might as well. <gasps> Look at it! Get fabric for my dolls is what I was going to say, but... Oh, it's so cute! I'm going to hide the barcode here. But, like, it's so pretty. It's so pretty! Oh, I love it! Look! I don't know if you can see it really well. My battery is dying. Like I said, I went Ubering. Um, but it looks so nice. And I didn't have to convert it or anything. Like, my biggest concern was that it wouldn't be that... Uh, it wouldn't be that vibrant. Because when I... Um, when I turned into CMYK... Cyan, magenta, yellow, black. Oh my gosh. Um, it looks so dull and not interesting at all. But now that I'm seeing it in my hands, like now that I see it like this, I just, I love it. I love it. So they're daisies and orange blossoms with oranges and ivy. And I'm just, ah, uh, I think it's more like eucalyptus. Honestly, it's a doodle flower. But it's so pretty. Look at this. I can't stop looking at it. It's so cute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. It came out so much better than I thought. And I'm so happy that the colors turned out. Um, realistically, I know best practice as a designer is to just do it in CMYK. Like I said, this pattern was never meant to be printed. It was just something I did for fun. But now that I have, I'm very happy with how it came out. And my only thing, okay, I did that. Um, my only thing would be going forward, I will do CMYK just to make it easier on the printers. Um, it looks like they used, um, what's it called? Oh, dear goodness. I literally worked for like a print shop. I should know this. Um, oh, oh my gosh. Like, I, the word escapes me, but it's the process of, like, infusing fabric with ink by heat and transfer. And so, like, it won't run or anything. It'll just be, like, on the... And, like, it doesn't... <laughs> no words. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um... It looked like you, they used that method where they just, like, transfer by heat the ink or pigment, I should say, and it, it just, it stays on there. Oh my gosh, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's going to drive me insane. It's, I think it starts with an I, but, <laughs> but, um, 
yeah, I really like how it came out. I will be using this um, for a doll, like for a skirt or something. I don't know. Like, it's it's pretty small. But it came out so well. I like it. And, yeah. So now, I'm just going to make it public. So if you want this fabric for any project, for if you're quilting or if you got inspired by my sewing struggles and you want to make your own sewing struggle, <laughs> uh, there you go. You, you have fabric to work with that was designed by my, yours truly. So just like, yeah, I'm super excited about this. And I will leave, obviously, in the descriptions of the link to Spoonflower into this particular um, pattern, this pattern, fa this fabric. And just, please, by all means, tag me. Um, I don't know. Just tag me in my art profile. Um, that doesn't make sense. Tag me. In the comments and on Instagram I will add my art Instagram onto the description as well with the things that you make with it I'd love to see it <laughs> I really would but I'll talk with you guys in the next clip Ooh, hello <laughs> Are you gonna say hi and then I'm really sad that it's ending like this. We did our best. We did our best. We did not make our daily amount for today, and that's okay. Um, it's just... Oof. When it came down for today, I made a choice to stay in my own town and just do what I could here, but that didn't really work out in my favor. And then I nearly got stranded outside of my town. Because Uber thought they were funny today. Um, gave me an order for my town. Sent me to the town over with two orders. And I don't know. It's just I got a lot of delivery orders today. And not a lot of food orders. And the food orders are what give you the tips. So no tips. Not a lot of income. Oh my gosh, your fur is everywhere. It is literally stuck to my nose, my eyes, my cheeks. Just Torah fur everywhere. They don't want to see your booty. Ugh. So. <laughs> really? Get down. So, end of the day. We were short by 20 bucks and that podcast I've been listening to, no biting. The podcast I was listening to was talking about how you don't have to suffer alone and you should ask for help and I was praying and he... Holy Spirit reminded me of that, and so I did the thing I really didn't want to do. Like, really, really didn't want to do. I wanted to do this. Ugh. Seriously, how much fur can you get in the air? Uh, I wanted to do this by myself. It looks like I've been crying. My eyes teared up, but I didn't cry, so I don't know what's going on. But I wanted to do this by myself. I didn't want help. I just wanted it to be me and the Lord getting this done and tackling this. And the reality is that as close as I got, and there's a good chance I might be able to do it tomorrow, for today, it was just not feasible to try to make 
the amount that I needed to. Besides not having enough gas, almost getting stuck outside of town, <laughs> and oh, it's just so much more. And it sounds like they're excuses. They're not. I prayed about it and I asked myself that same question I was so thrilled about a couple of days ago, um, which I guess would have been weeks ago for you guys, but... I wasn't willing to kill myself to kill for it, if that makes sense. Like, I wanted it, but not as much as I wanted my health <laughs> and my sanity. So we stayed out longer than usual, and unfortunately, because a lot of our orders were delivery today, we didn't hit our target, and that really sucks. But. Mm. but it gave me on the positive side of things it gave me a chance to see what a future in the country would look like for me personally when I think of the house the Lord showed me in a vision I think of it being surrounded by a garden slash orchard slash farm <laughs> of like an acre of land, my closest neighbor not being that close. And the last delivery that I made today was in a, an area like that. And there's like a sacrifice to that. Like you, you're far away from other people in your dwelling, yeah. But you're also far away from society, like the hospital and the grocery store and the gas station. And it's just, I think if it were me, I'd rather go to the grocery store than have someone deliver it like I did today. I think if it were me, I wouldn't want to have anyone go through what I had to go through just to get there. Um, dirt, narrow dirt roads, not being able to see who's coming because it's so hilly. And, like, your wheels not having the best traction because it's literally over pebbles. <laughs> um, yeah, no. I don't think I would enjoy that. Or doing that to other people. And I understand I don't live there. So, I, 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 over time, I'm sure you would just rather have things delivered to you. Yeah. Fur. <laughs> but, um... For me, I want a happy medium. Like, I don't want my no neighbors so close to me. I want to have a good amount of land, but I also want to be near the city. So kind of, I guess what I'm saying is I want a place like my grandma's old house. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, I think I want a place like my grandma's old house, but not my grandma's old house. Um, like, I don't want my water to come from a well. But then again, at the same time, I'm the kind of person who would rather prefer rainwater storage so I don't have to worry about water, you know? Like, if an emergency were to happen, I wouldn't be... And I could also help my neighbors and my community. So, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of things I want to do that I know are crazy expensive. But, um, so I think in one of these Lent, um, Lent fast vlogs, I mentioned that I got some new skincare and while I like the moisturizer and I like the serum from The Ordinary, it does warn that the moisturizer will make you sensitive to the sun and its UV rays. Um... I don't know if you can see this, probably not, here. So this is a heat rash and it started on my neck <laughs> and as I was driving today it got worse down here. So I'm pretty sure that's the moisturizer 
Uh, it's trying to find a face. Sorry. Pretty sure that's the moisturizer. And I don't like that because it's super uncomfortable and itchy. <laughs> and the thing about having allergies is if you're exposed to your allergen while you're already breaking out, like, you, you, I don't... I don't know if that shows on camera very well, but like my eczema is crazy right now. My knuckles are so raw. I, I, it doesn't come on camera really well, but like, it's so bad. It's so bad. Like my fingers, my hands, everything feels so rough. Oi, oi. And then when my eczema broke out, the worst part was when I went to go pet this one here because I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> and with my hands being raw and like just on fire, it got 10 times worse because I just introduced a new allergen to an already allergic reaction. <laughs> so I think this is a similar thing, like the sunburn on my chest is also inflamed by the fact that this one likes to climb up on people because of your uncle. Gosh dang it. But just so much going on. So much going on. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, if, I know it's not laziness or procrastination that I'm home right now. It is literally through prayer and like I've done like I looked at the hours to compare I looked at the hours to compare to see if maybe I just wasn't working long enough even though I didn't stop until 5.30ish 5.20ish and I like to stop at 4.30 so I have enough time to eat which I haven't done yet clearly if you haven't told if you couldn't tell from my mood I haven't eaten yet and like I'm in pajamas yes but that's just there was a reason for that and just I'm, I'm a little disappointed in my effort not coming to fruition the way that I thought it should <laughs> and that's something I have to deal with so until I get it fixed here and here, it's going to keep bothering me. And, you know, I feel a little lighter just talking about it. But it is one of the... Okay, <laughs> I was about to say I did not just get a blister while talking to you. <laughs> but um, it is one of those things where I did my best. And now I've got to trust God with the rest. And that's hard <laughs> When you're literally one day away from the build being due. And like I said, I asked my mom for help. So she'll be Ubering with me just in case I don't make enough. And if I do, then she gets to keep all the money that she made and buy something. Um, but if I don't, then she's got my back. And I'm grateful for that. It's just... I don't want to be I mean in plain English I don't want to be a financial burden to her because I have been for a while and it took some serious do you hear that? hold up ma'am ma'am did I invite you? I did not invite you what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Nosy? Literally? Wow, Novaly. Wow. No, do not eat Taurus food. Hello. So... <laughs> It is the final day, and I made 93 today, and as I was getting ready to check out, or cash out, or whatever, I realized I made more than enough. 
I needed $115. That's all that was left. And I made 170 some dollars in just two days. <laughs> and that is 100%. 100%. Jesus, just hands down. <laughs> oh my gosh, the garage lights turned off. Uh, but just, I honestly thought I was going to just make what I could and then pay back my mom the rest. But now I can just pay her back everything she sent me to help me because I have more than enough to pay my bill. <laughs> This five hundred seventy dollar bill, <laughs> and I just nothing, nothing but God, nothing but the blood. I just okay. I'm gonna go inside and eat, <laughs> and then I'm gonna go to my deliverance class. And I'm just going to give my testimony for this last week and a half. End of week three of Lent. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. So I've mentioned once before on this channel that one of my favorite movies is Red Shoes and the Seven Dwarfs. And every since, ever since I've watched that movie, which I'm going to play again just because it's on my mind, um, there's just been this one scene every time I put on a face mask that I cannot get out of my mind. And I think about it every single time <laughs> I put one of these things on. This one is special, and I was waiting until just this time to try it because I'm very stressed out uh, <laughs> but I'll put the scene here Duh. would you like to join me in a moisturizing mask oh thanks oh oof, but I am oh, I'm so tired are you sure it's very important to take care of your skin positive uh... But this is the finest French recipe meant to hydrate skin. It is made of mm. French poopy. That is what plays in my mind every single time. Every single time I put on a sheet mask since I've seen that movie. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just try to contour this to my face and stop talking so it can do its job. And I will talk to you guys later. I love this. It's got little stars in it. <laughs>